guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a PR unboxing. Brands have been so gracious enough to send some product my way over the past couple of weeks, so I thought I would share it with you. Um, we have everything from hair care to skin care and some makeup. So without any further ado, we'll jump right into it. So the first thing I'm going to start with is hair care and Kerastase, which I believe is how you say it, is a French hair care company and they just sent over their Densifique range, which is a volumizing range. Um, so they sent over their Hyaluronic and Glucopeptide Formula Shampoo and Conditioner. And then also as part of it, they sent over their Densimorphose Hyaluronic and Glucopeptide Mousse and a hyaluronic and glucopeptide um, mask. So this is a leave-in mask. Okay, so there's no directions, but it's a leave-in mask to help thicken your hair. And as you can tell from my roots just laying on top of my head, I need all the help I can get. It smells awesome, though. It's floral. It actually reminds me of something, and I can't place what it is. But I'm excited to try this. So thank you to Kerastase for sending this over. Um, the other hair care that I received is from Hairfinity, which they have a big following of celebrities and other influencers, and they focus more on hair growth and um, and health, I guess. So hair growth and health. But they sent over their, let's see, in the box. They sent over their Gentle Cleanse Shampoo and their Balanced Moisture Conditioner, along with their Candy Locks Chewable Hair Vitamins, which are filled with biotin and are supposed to help your hair grow and be a little bit more full. And they actually, I opened them, they smell awesome. They smell like candy. They really smell sweet. But yeah, I'm excited to try these too. Um, again, I can use anything that's gonna help my hair, honestly. Ooh, 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 ooh. Crap. Okay. So on the skincare front, I belong to Influencer, and if you guys haven't signed up, I suggest you do. I'll leave a link down in the um, description box. But if you review products and if you have um, any kind of a following on social, you take quizzes and they send you products that you can try and review. So as part of it, um, Influencer teamed up with Elemis, or Elemis, it's um, a British skincare company to send their marine collagen range. So they sent their Pro Cleansing Balm, which I struggle to find a cleanser that is going to deep clean my face and take all my makeup off. And I was pleasantly surprised by this one. I did, um, I did dip into this a little bit and I've been trying it out for about two weeks, but it's a solid cleanser. And you massage it into dry skin and you know, you can see it breaking up your makeup. It's amazing and it smells very herbal and purifying, if that makes any kind of sense. But um, yeah, so that is one of my favorite cleansers and I'll probably be repurchasing that. And then along with it, they sent their Pro Collagen Overnight Matrix and their Marine, Pro Collagen Marine Cream. So a day cream and a night cream. And again, very herbal smelling, but very moisturizing. I live in the Northeast and we've had winter now, which seems like forever. So I'm really excited to try this and see if it's going to help with the dry skin that I have. Normally I have oily skin, but because this winter has been so harsh, all of a sudden it's it's dry, like the Sahara. So excited to try this. Um, let's see. So Cosmetics is another skincare brand and I believe they're out of Atlanta. And they sent over their Simply Brilliant, some of their Simply Brilliant line. So they sent this over. It's their 24-7 Brightening Serum and their Pure C Vitamin C Mixing Crystals. So the Simply Brilliant is to help with your skin, make it a little bit more brighter and more even and help with discolor discoloration, which is something that I suffer from. So from 
having years of really bad acne or being in the sun with the medication I was on, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation. So I get it on the side of my face, I get it under my eyes, I get it on my upper lip. So I'm constantly on the hunt for something that's going to brighten my face. I'm excited to try this one as well. But I guess what the vitamin C mixing crystals do, well, we'll open this one first. Oh my gosh, why can I not? So in a glass bottle, pump, um, it says apply a small amount to freshly cleansed and toned skin, follow with additional moisturizer and or sunscreen. And then quick tip, Pure C Vitamin C Mixing Crystals may be mixed with serum for additional brightening and firming effect. So these are the Vitamin C Mixing Crystals and they come in this little container with a little sifter on the top. And it is finely, finely milled powder. I don't think it's going to be super abrasive, but I do have sensitive skin so I have to be careful. But I guess mixing this in, because it is 100% vitamin C, it's just going to make the serum a little bit more powerful. So I'm excited to see this and see if it works because like I said before, I've struggled with finding something that's going to lighten all the dark spots on my face. So we'll jump right into makeup, my favorite part. So NYX was kind enough to send over this um, PR box filled with a bunch of their, I guess, cult favorite products. So. So here's a little card that's inside and it says um, create a flawless canvas so it's their concealer and primer define your favorite features so contour and brows and then add a pop of color lipstick lip liner and set and slay all day so setting powder and spray but this is everything that NYX sent over and I'll try to do this in an orderly fashion but it's probably not going to happen so the first thing that they sent over in the box is their Glitter Goals, which is glitter adhesive and three loose glitter pots. There's crystal, which looks like an iridescent silver, black glitter, and emerald. And I'm such a fan of emerald, so I'm excited about this. All right, so we'll start with the face. They sent over their Honey Do Me Up primer, which I've been dying to try. It has flecks of gold in it, so it's supposed to brighten and make you I guess look a little bit more radiant and dewy. It is on the thinner side. I'm used to a thicker primer like Urban Decay's Optical Illusion or Smashbox, oh my god, Smashbox Photo Finish. <clears throat> so it is, like you can see, it's got strings. It's a little bit sticky, but I'm excited to try this because I've had my eye on it for quite a while. Also on the face side, they sent over their HD Studio Photogenic Concealer which I've been using this for years and it is the best concealer that I've ever used. I don't see a need to pay any more than $5 for this concealer because it hides everything from the dark circles under my eyes to, you know, the breakouts that I get to the discoloration that I have on the side of my face. It's amazing. So they sent these over in Cool Warm 3 and Cool Warm 5, which are a little bit dark. I do use, um, I believe it's shade 1, which is the lightest because I use it under my eyes to and on my forehead to highlight. NYX also sent over their brow pencils in, or their micro brow pencil in Espresso and Brunette. Espresso is too dark for me, but the Brunette is perfect. I actually use their brow mascara in Brunette. I don't normally fill my brows in because they are so thick. Keeping on with eyes, NYX, they also sent over two of their Ultimate Eyeshadow Palettes, one in Smoky and Highlight, and one in Electric. The Electric, 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 Electric? The Electric Palette has some kind of crazy colors in it, but they go from matte to shimmer to, it looks like, I don't know, to satin, matte shimmer and satin shadows, if that is correct. Um, but that would be good for a, you know, festival season is upon us, so that would be a great festival look. And then they also sent over this one, Smoky and Highlight, which has grays, taupes, burgundies. Looks like there's an olive green in there. Oh, I might have to tap into this one. A navy blue. A lot of good colors in this one. And finally, they sent over a bunch of lip products. So NYX Lip Lingerie in number six, which is a nude. NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Brooklyn Thorn, which looks 
like it's a brown. I'm not quite sure if I'll be using this one. It could be a little bit too dark for me. NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee, which I know has a cult following. And NYX Liquid Suede in Color 11, which is more of a blue red. And I'm a fan of a red lip. So thank you to NYX for sending all of this product over. I can't wait to try all of it. And if I don't, I think I'm going to do a giveaway with the stuff that is a little bit too dark for me. And then finally, um, about three weeks ago, I was invited to an Urban Decay influencer event in Boston. How this happened, I don't know, but somehow, miraculously, it happened and I got to meet the incredible PR team from Urban Decay in Los Angeles and the PR girls from New York who handle their account. It was a great night. It was at a Mexican restaurant in Boston. We got to eat, drink, and meet a ton of other influencers from the Boston area. So again, thanks to Urban Decay for that. It was beyond amazing, something I never thought would happen. Urban Decay was also kind enough to let us leave with a gratis bag of some of their favorite products. So we got um, the, I think each gift bag had something different, but the one that I received had the Moon Dust palette in it. I've been eyeballing this for a long time. It has eight shadows, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight shadows in it. It comes in this cool, like, three-dimensional black glitter case. And the formulas, I've never actually tried a Moon Dust formula, but I believe it has glitter and it's intense. I have my eye on Vega, which is this blue. It's such a hot color right now. So I'm excited, definitely excited for this. I've been using Urban Decay for longer than I'd like to admit because then that's going to date me but it's been one of my favorite products or my favorite brands for a long, long time. You know, I try a lot of different products, but in the end, I always end up coming back to Urban Decay. Let's see, they also gave us their all-nighter long-lasting makeup spray. Again, another cult product that I absolutely love. I've tried a ton of makeup setting sprays and always come back to this one. It just I don't know what's in it, it's some kind of magic, but your makeup does not budge at all. Let's see. Um, Vice Lipstick in the shade Accident, which is a metalized shade. I have a couple of these Vice Lipsticks and I love the formulation. No matter if it's a matte or a satin or the metalized, they don't dry out your lips, they're super hydrating. This one... I think would be a good fall color. I don't know. I'll have to hold on to this guy. The, let's see. And the last thing that was in the bag was one of their new products, which is their Double Team Special Effects Colored Mascara. So this is in the shade Dime and Gold Mine. So silver, not gold mine, Dime and Gold Mine, which is a silver and a gold. So they are super bright. You can see like it's such a yellow gold in on the, the side and then a brighter silver on this side. I don't know, I'm just reminded of like gold member from Austin Powers when I see this. And then a few weeks before or a week before the event, they sent over their Naked Petite Heat palette. Now, I was all about the Naked Heat palette when it launched last summer, like obsessed. I bought it somehow, Elta had an early release and I bought it and I love it. I use it almost every day. This one, oh my god, if I can open it. Okay, finally. So this one has six matte shades. Um, they're all new shades. There's Inhale, Vibrate, Hot Spell, Wild Thing, Heist, and Spike. I love Spike, which is like a matte burgundy. I don't know. I just, I love all the colors, you know, in the heat range. It, it I don't know. It just screams summer to me. I'm just you know, so excited about this. Um, so yeah, so that is the extent of this unboxing. It was a ton of product. I'm so thankful to all the brands that sent product on over. It means so much. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be doing a mini Sephora Ulta Jouer haul video in the next week or so. I have to get my act together to film that. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.